Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. And today, presence is desired. As I'm taping this, we're right before Christmas. It's early December and American Thanksgiving has just finished up down in the States. And this particular week has transformed itself from just being Black Friday to C Cyber Week. And a lot of people who could be spending quality time with their loved ones are busy shopping for that loved one to buy that perfect gift that if we're all being honest will probably be forgotten within a year or two anyhow. This season right now is the season of Emmanuel. God is with us. God's presence is in our midst. And I was pondering this great mystery as I was thinking about American Thanksgiving. I got to thinking about all those people who rush their Thanksgiving dinner, they eat, and they're dashing off to stand in line in the hopes that they'll be the first 25 people in the store so they'll get that really one good deal that they're offering on Black Friday. People travel thousands and thousands of miles in order to go be with their families and what do they do? They spend most of their time in line in shopping centers getting stressed up to the hilt and not spending the time with the people that they are loving so much they want to buy the perfect gift for. Canadians aren't immune to all this craziness either. The day after Christmas in Canada is called Boxing Day and that term goes way back to the United Kingdom, way, way back, where the Boxing Day, some people say it started with the more well-off, they would put food hampers and take it to the poor, hence the box. And then it kind of morphed into a time where people would go visit each other and homes would have open houses and everybody would come together and enjoy a day just to be with one another and it was a day of hospitality. In my house, when I grew up, it was very much that way. My parents would put out all the leftovers, nice leftovers, and then my dad would pull out all these expensive sausages and cheese, and my parents' friends would come over with their kids. We kids would go down to the basement and we'd play games, and the adults would enjoy themselves upstairs, and it was a relaxed time where I'm sure all the moms were going, it's over with and they could just sit and relax. Well, unfortunately, our Boxing Day has become the same as Black Friday down in the States, only it's a little bit worse in a way. Again, the stores will offer two or three really good prices on stuff and everybody will stand in line to get that really special thing. Uh, but when they run out of it, they'll go through the store and realize that all the other stuff on sale there is stuff that didn't sell during the Christmas season. So there they are roaming through the store buying stuff that nobody else wanted to buy. It's become so bad in Canada now that many people are no longer actually buying gifts for their loved ones. Instead, they're giving them gift cards to their favorite stores so they can take that little plastic card, oh hurrah, and go shop for themselves and buy whatever they want to. Nice and simple, nice and easy, no personal stuff, no personal sacrifice except hauling out the credit card to pay for that card, and that's it. The presence of a person is of much greater value than a plastic gift card that has, honestly, I can go to any supermarket here in my town and get a gift card and it will have absolutely no sentimental thing. I just took it off the rack, stuck it onto the checkout and there is my gift. 
that I'm about to give someone that has absolutely no personal significance to that person who's going to receive it or for myself, the person who's going to give it. We as Christians need to remind ourselves that Christmas has a deeper significance. We celebrate the good news that he is near, that he came for us, and that he transforms lives by drawing close to those lives. His presence was the greatest present God ever gave mankind. May we be imitators of Christ. Ephesians 5 verse 1 and 2. Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children, and walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. No matter what season you're watching this in, whether it's Christmas or Easter or whatever, remember that presents and a big fancy meal or whatever should never take the place of heart-to-heart -heart connection.